Hey guys, it's Kilo. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about weight loss. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that when I originally started my channel that I focused heavily on documenting my weight loss journey. And of course, in recent videos, I've kind of backed off from that a little bit and I've been talking about other things. I wanted to come on here and give you guys an update on where I am currently with my weight loss journey, but then also talk about why I haven't been making as many update videos recently. So I feel as though I have been too focused on the scale and so it really was something that kind of got out of control because I would be on this I would step on the scale every single day sometimes several times within a day and if the scale didn't read what I wanted it to read you know I knew that I knew that your body weight would go up and down but my mind still didn't care like logically I knew that it wasn't a great thing that I was doing but I would still do it and it would make me feel not so great and so I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore and now I only weigh myself once a week, which is every Sunday. Um, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I may get on the scale midweek. So I just decided that this is, I'm just going to put the scale in the back burner. I'm just going to keep on eating what I'm supposed to eat. I try to keep my calories around 1500 every day and I work out three times a week with my strength training I go walking five to six days out of the week and I just know I'm doing what I should be doing now on top of that I'm gluten and dairy free so hopefully that will help reduce inflammation and also increase my insulin sensitivity so I've been using um, a few supplements that I've researched myself I'm not a doctor but I did some research and I found some supplements that could be very helpful to helping me balance my hormones and increase my insulin sensitivity so I will definitely be making a video about that but um, the purpose of this video is to just show you guys what I eat in a day being gluten and dairy free um, also, if you do want to stay up to date on my weight loss journey outside of YouTube, I do have a TikTok, so you can go ahead and follow me on TikTok at Kila Cheeks, and I'll go ahead and put a link down below in the description so that you can go ahead and follow us. There's about 13,000 of us over there, so come on and join the family. I just think it's so much easier to post there because the videos are only 20 to 30 seconds, and so you don't really have to do a lot of editing. It doesn't take a lot of time. And really, I just document what I'm doing, so what I'm eating, the exercises that I'm doing, and you know, maybe a funny TikTok here or there if I feel creative but aside from that um, that's what I have going on I'm gonna go ahead and eat lunch right now okay so here's what I'm having for breakfast I decided to have two eggs with two pieces of bacon there's no sugar or anything no flavor on the bacon just plain bacon and then a quarter of an avocado and the total calories for this was 400 Next up, I had a protein shake, and so this was my first time using the IsoPure protein powder, and I really did like it. It is a plus that it is gluten and dairy free, and I also added some collagen and peanut butter powder. Um, I also had a little snack along with my protein shake, so I did make some tuna. Unfortunately, by the time as I remembered to video this, I had already eaten most of my tuna. <laughs> And also I had some flackers along with that. And like I said, I am trying to stay gluten and dairy free. So flackers are a good way to eat um, my tuna nowadays. And I really do enjoy it. You have to get used to the flavor of the flaxseed, but once you get used to it, it's actually pretty good. And then finally for dinner, I had some steamed chicken and I also had that along with some broccoli and steamed cabbage on the side. Um, this is the last meal that I had for the day and it is very nutritious and filling at least for me and I enjoyed it a lot. 
Hey guys, it's Keela from the future. I forgot to close up my video. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video and please look forward to an upcoming video that I will have that will talk about the supplements that I'm currently using to help with my weight loss journey and just more information on how to stay disciplined when you are trying to lose weight with PCOS and you have very slow results. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.